Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you everyone for joining today. This is Regina here with Benevest and we have Madeline and Maria from Oscar. They're gonna do the presentation teaching learning webinar today. Um, exciting news, the plans are available with the pricing on the marketplace. So if you have your clients that you've already been reaching out to, you're gonna wanna go to healthcare.gov slash C dash plans. You probably heard me say that a million times already, but that's where you're going to want to quote your clients for the upcoming open enrollment season. You could go ahead and quote them now and then get their plan ready. And then come November 1st, you could have hundreds of clients that are you're ready to enroll. So I'll give it over to Madeline for today's presentation. Great, thank you, Regina. And I know that there's going to be some additional folks joining. Um, so I know, Maria, I think it stops the presentation. So I will try to admit them from my end so that you can keep showing the screen. So sorry about that, guys. Um, first, I wanna start off by thanking Benevest. You know, you're in very good hands with Benevest. I especially impressed, you know, with the tools and resources that Benevest offers its agents and just the team over there. You know, Regina and Joy are awesome and you guys have some superstar uh, talent over there. You know who you are. Um, we are big fans. So I am Madeline Iratol. I'm the South Florida sales leader for um, Oscar. Had the pleasure and honor of, of joining Oscar to help launch the South Florida market. And we are doing really well on the individual side going into our second year now on the Medicare side. So although this is fully focused on IFP today, do want to give a little plug for those of you that sell Medicare. Benevist is also um, appointed with us, you know, to sell Medicare. So feel free to connect with them or us on more details on that. But today it's all about IFP. And then Maria will also be leading some of the presentation in, in terms of what's new. Do you want to introduce yourself, Maria? Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Maria. Um, I've been here for about a year and a half now and have had a, a chance to speak to a lot of you guys. I'm uh, really excited for this open enrollment um, and definitely um, thank you for coming and wish you all the best this season. Awesome. And we will have time for questions at the end. Um, if there's a pressing question that you have and just can't wait till the end, you know, feel free to put it on the chat here and we'll do our best to uh, respond. We also would like to acknowledge the broader team because, you know, in addition to the rich benefit plan designs that we offer, a robust network, we know that part of our success is also our people. Um, so here on the screen is Will Johnson, who is our Southeast, um, he's our director here in the Southeast region. I also wanted to highlight Grant Center and Amanda. Some of you we know uh, sell in the Central Florida area, so they oversee that area. Grant is even looking at some of our, overseeing some of our expansion markets. So again, make a note of those names. We obviously have Maria who you've met. Jocelyn is also on our team. And then Lewis and, Bat, Lewis and Adi here on the bottom right are part of our Medicare team. Continuing on because we really want to focus today's presentation more so on plans and what's new. But for those of you that may still be new to Oscar, let me just share with you some key differences that we have. If you go on to the next um, slide, um, we really are the first health insurance company built around a full stack technology platform. And we do everything that we do is keeping our member at the center of it all. And the reason we do this is because we believe it will make healthcare easier, more affordable, and at the end of the day, we will deliver a better care and that creates a more satisfied customer. Why is that important? Because it means retention for you all. So as, as health plans get more and more competitive every year, benefit designs get richer every year, the experience that they have with the health plan, is critical and we are thrilled that our model is working um, we are over 560,000 members to date in 22 states and although individual is our primary focus and our largest book of business we also are in the small group space in a few states not here not in florida yet um, and in medicare as i mentioned briefly we're in three states with medicare we did introduce and uh, announce, I should say, an expansion. We are going now going to be in 22 
state, 497 counties, and again, three product lines. If you go to the next mark, next, um, I talk a little bit more here about our expansion markets. And Regina, question for you, are most of the folks on the call do they sell beyond Florida or is it mostly Florida? Most of our agents now do sell beyond Florida. Okay, cool. So a couple comments then uh, with that in mind. So you'll see the expansion markets here. Um, those are the ones, well, these, this is the list of the expansion markets. So the ones in the dark blue or dark purple, however you see that color, <laughs> are existing markets. The lighter color are our expansion markets. We are going to be highly competitive across Florida, um, but I also want to note that in the Atlanta market in Georgia, which is a new market for us, you know, we are going to be strong. For those of you that sell in Texas, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, El Paso, my understanding is we will be very strong there as well. And um, when Maria gets into the plan designs, I want to stress that although we're going to be focusing a lot of this on Florida, the majority of our plans are available across markets with the exceptions of some. Um, so, you know, we will be getting all of this out, should be, all of this info will be posted in our portal, but keep that in mind as, as we go through the plan designs that the majority of them will be available across our markets. The next slide. And then, you know, a key message to make sure that you, it drives home for you, because again, we wanna make sure that we're differentiating against our competitors. Going back to the idea that we wanna make it easy and simple for our members to engage with us. And we do that by really focusing on a high tech approach as well as a high touch approach. On the high tech side, by now, we hope you know that we have probably the best app in the market. We're pioneers in this sense, and we build all of our technology from the ground up. We have the app available in both English and Spanish, and you can do everything at the palm of your hand. Frankly, that leads to better engagement with Oscar, which will ultimately help to drive down healthcare costs. And then that leads to an overall better experience. So again, to highlight some of the key differences, I can very proudly say that Oscar was a pioneer in the virtual space. Um, we have had virtual urgent care for quite some time now. It is available throughout uh, the state. Uh, and you can basically access it from the palm of your hand. It's unlimited 24 seven, and it is at $0 on all plans. The cool thing is that if you get a prescription through virtual urgent care or primary care, which I'll talk about in a moment, it also can include $0 tier one drugs. And this is one area that we invite you to check out the competition in the drug pricing because we are highly competitive there. The other piece is virtual primary care, which is different than urgent care. Virtual primary care is the same type of experience you would get with your PCP, but in from your app. And so the services that, for example, if your PCP refers you to a specialist, that may also be zero dollars. Um, and it's all of these uh, co-pays for virtual PCP are zero dollars. I do want to point out that virtual primary care is only available in South Florida, um, whereas the urgent care is across the state. And then finally, moving into the high touch aspect of what Oscar does, we really do have a, an awesome team. And the cool thing is that members really build a relationship with Oscar. When they call our care team, they are talking to the same three to six people who become their personal care team. Um, we offer services in both English and Spanish, as well as interpreters as needed. And they are trained to really resolve the issues, not just, you know, try to get the individual off the phone as, as quickly as possible. And that's why we have high, such high satisfaction rates. Continuing on, we've already mentioned that virtual primary care is only in South Florida, very important, and urgent care is across the state. The only restrictions is that virtual primary care, um, you know, is not available in the HSA compatible plans or catastrophic plans. So something to note there. 
Now, I know you're all waiting for what's new for 2022. Um, Maria is going to take the lead here. I may interject with a few comments, but Maria, please take it away. Sure. Exciting. Um, what's new for 2022? There's a lot of newest um, in our this year. As I like to say, we have a marketing network expansion. We are having a PCP selection and assignment for members this year. We're introducing a new diabetic uh, silver plan. We have additional incentives for members and reward programs. We also have, um, we also for you, we have an enhanced direct enrollment, which I know you have requested this many times. And then of course we have added supplemental products. So let's start with market and network expansions in Florida. Um, let me go on to the next slide here. So in Florida, we have expanded into four different counties. We have Crestview, Gainesville, Panama City, and Pensacola. So they're just really up in our, um, on the West Coast here and the upper co uh, coast of Florida. And I wanna call out the West side of Florida up there. It's um, really a big area that we can increase. You, you can increase your book of business. There's, there's a, lot of, um, a lot of members there that you know, still need um, uh, some type of help in getting um, healthcare there. So it's a great area to, to work in. And if you can see here, this is our areas um, as we have highlighted Crestview in the Gainesville area, um, Panama City, and of course, Pensacola. We've also, this year, we're very excited um, to announce that we have partnered up with uh, Jackson Health System um, and U Health. Um, these two partners are, um, have been highly requested for the South Florida folks. We went ahead and added it and it's this year and i think it's going to be a big bonus for oscar for the members especially because jackson west has opened up a new hospital right in the doral area in between hialeah and i know that um everybody here um all of your members like jackson um and i know the members are going to be very satisfied with that apart from that we're going to continue with memorial Healthcare systems as you know it's a very great hospital we also have Holy Cross, Tenet, uh, HC Hospital, which was brought by a steward and community, um, I'm sorry, and uh, HCA. Um, we've added new, um, also um, Holy Cross, just wanna go ahead and mention Holy Cross and Memorial Health are, are where Medicare Advantage is in Broward County. So for those of you that sell um, Medicare Advantage, we are still in Broward County this year. So definitely want to go ahead and um, update you guys on that as well. Um, Avon Health in Orlando and Tampa area still going strong. And we're very excited to definitely bring you guys, again, Jackson New Health for 2022. Hey, Maria, if you can stay on that slide for a moment um, without naming names, because it's not my style, um, I encourage you all when you're comparing plans to make sure that you also compare the networks. And the reason I point that out is we're really excited, as Maria say, to have Jackson U Health in the system. Not all of the plans out there with some of our major competitors include Jackson U Health. So please make sure that you're looking at that. And I am sure some of you know that one of our competitors also does not have the Memorial Healthcare Systems in Broward. Um, so although we may not be the leading in price in some respects, the 2 to $3 more that the customer may spend will certainly be saved on the back end and they'll be able to access a broader network of physicians. So really important there. Sorry, and just to piggyback on that, um, my team, we're putting together our hospital charts that we are going to provide to all of our agents. Um, and that just literally compares the hospitals by all of the carriers. So it's a quick and easy, simple chart. So you could see which carrier goes to which hospital versus going to each carrier's website and looking for that info. That is awesome, Regina. It's a lot of work, but it makes life easier for the agent. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Good thinking. Definitely don't want to forget Tampa General Health, which has, um, it's a very great hospital over on our West Coast. Um, and uh, don't forget that Tampa General has a very good uh, name recognition and has been a leader in, on our West Coast area. Okay, so what is new this year for the Florida Rewards Program? 
<clears throat> and this year we have actually, um, let me go on to the next slide here. So this year um, we have been able to bring our members um, a little bit more rewards. We've heard you guys feedback is very much appreciated um, this year um, with our uh, growth. As you already know, we have over, we have done the $100 Amazon gift card with the STEP program. And it's really just for members who, you know, download the app, synchronize it with their phones. And we just want to um, just walk it as, you know, walk is as simple as that um, with the STEP program. But additional to that this year, we are going to be giving additional $100 um, gift cards for Walmart. We're introducing a new reward incentive. And this is a $100 Walmart gift card again. And how they are able to do this is by a couple of steps, right? So the first step is you have to create an account. So make sure that every time you sign up your member, please um, make sure that you type the member's email in correctly. Um, and because this is how they're gonna be able to uh, benefit from this benefit from this reward. So um, just wanna go ahead and uh, reiterate that um, that's a, definitely one of the steps that you have to take. They also have to, um, assign download the oscar mobile app uh, which a lot of them already have it um they, they uh, can complete a pcp visit which they most likely will do they can either do this again virtually so they can for those of uh of those members that want to um not go to a and a, a provider doctors <clears throat> personally they can do that virtually right from their palm of their hands and they can also qualify for that hundred dollars um so that's uh, an extra step there that is very easy um, for our members um, as well. They can also complete their health risk assessment. Um, other carriers do that as well. And it's a very, um, very quick and easy way to be able to get your $100 rewards. Um, then they can do, um, they can opt into paperless communication, meaning they will no longer be able to receive paper mail and they'll be receiving everything through their email, which is important to make sure that their email is correct and the best one is to set up in um, into auto pay which benefits you and the members so they can so that they did not miss any payments a single payment members can use um that for uh so that way you know um they can they can do an auto pay as well um let me go on to the next slide here This year, we're also introducing the Diabetes Silver Plan. So we're very excited this year to bring this to um, our Florida market. Um, it's um, what I, it's one of my favorite plans on the market. Um, whether it's gonna be um, great or not, it depends. I always tell people, it just depends if, you know, on your, on your uh, position, right? If you're diabetic or not. Um, and the reason is because we did have a lot of um, feedback from you guys last year. We listened. Uh, we put together this plan that I know it's going to benefit a lot of uh, members here across Florida. Um, it has a lot of plan benefits, including $0 foot exams, $0 uh, diabetic um, labs, the out-of-pocket costs per incident are capped at 100 per month. Uh, let me go in here uh, so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Um, it has a lot of plan benefits that are, are actually innovative to people that have diabetes type one and type two. And the whole purpose of this is to make sure that the, the member feels that they're being treated, um, you know, fairly, not, not even just fairly, but their situation is being controlled. And um, one of the ways that we're doing this is um, we've uh, partner up with uh, Livongo. Livongo is a uh, wellness, um, uh, hotline that you call it's a partnership that we have and they actually help um, members with wellness perks to help manage their type 1 or type 2 diabetes they can also um, earn uh, cash rewards for healthy groceries up to a hundred dollars a year so you know to go buy healthy uh, groceries of course so they can get a hundred dollars um, that's another part of the um, diabetic plan that we have this year um, and also they can register uh, with a diabetic counseling uh, program and within three months of enrollment, then they'll receive their annual physical wellness. They can receive their annual physical wellness. 
once they do that, then they'll be eligible for the $100 uh, debit card up to $100 a year. So in order to be able to um, get the incentive for the diabetes plan, just want to make sure we I go back and recap. They have to uh, register one of our um, health counselors at Lingvongo, the uh, partnership that we have um, to, to help manage their type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And we also have access um, also to um, fitness classes through um, ASH. But they, um, there will be more to come on that. And just want to remind you guys that Oscar is an EPO plan. And so if you don't want, if you don't know what an EPO plan is, an EPO means that you do not have to see a PCP, you do not have to have a PCP selected, um, and you do not need to have referrals to go to your primary care doctor. However, we are going to definitely encourage our members to select PCPs during the member onboarding process. And this process happens when the members are creating their accounts online. So all eligible members will be able to select their PCPs. Um, it's very important to select the PCP um, because it actually um, helps us to capture um, the data and engage with the members uh, to see exactly how we can better help and what plans and, and ideas we can bring for the next upcoming uh, open enrollment. So Great, Maria. Um, just to close out one comment around the diabetic plan. So obviously, if you do have uh, diabetic customers, this this will be a very good plan to sell them. And I uh, want to make sure you captured sort of, you know, the Maria talked about our wellness rewards. So just to recap again, because it's good for us to reiterate some of this stuff. We already had a $100 step program that members can get simply by walking. They just have to download the app. We've added another $100, um, and that would be a, a Walmart gift card for completing the activities that Maria mentioned. And then if you happen to be a diabetic and purchase this plan, it's yet another $100 reward program um, that, that is offered through this particular plan. So of good value. Um, and I think the next slide, Maria, yeah, talks about the PCP selection, which you were referring to. Um, Want to re reiterate something Maria said, you know, EPOs means you, you can access any physician in, in the network and you can do that. Um, across the state, again, another differentiating factor of Oscar. We're not limiting you to a certain network. You can pick any in-network physician. Um, and as Maria said, although we don't mandate or require it, we are highly encouraging all members to select a PCP. And it's simply going to impact the quality of the care that they receive. Again, means retention for you guys. Um, so this year we are for South Florida only, I want to stress that, for South Florida only, if a member does not select a PCP, we will be selecting it for them. Um, it doesn't mean it's going to stop anything, um, but if, and if they don't like the PCP, they can change at any time. It's really our way to just impact overall quality of care. So please encourage your members to do so when they create their account. Correct. So the members will have the option to search for a provider directly um, once they log into their portal or through their mobile app and select the primary care doctor that they have been previously seeing if they are an Oscar member or if they're a new member, they can actually select uh, the PCP. It will guide them um, once they uh, enter their information into our Oscar um, app. And this year, um, in addition to uh, PCP selection, um, we are excited that we have um, partner up with NatGen, which NatGen is a uh, Aetna PPO um, a dental insurance company, and we also have Accidental. So there's, it's a great uh, network that uh, NatGen has. Um, so if you're currently not, for those of you who are currently not with NatGen supplemental products, um, just want to let you, just want to point out that you are able to um, you're able to earn more commissions by enrolling your members into a dental plan. Really, um, this partnership demonstrates our commitment to helping you give your clients the best service that they can have. So I'm very very excited for this. Um, you can bill and earn more dollars as an agent and control maintain your book of business, and you can also protect your clients. Um, I think the best part about this is that. You can enroll your members directly into a dental plan with that. Gen EP 
CPO uh, network, um, and it's it's very extensive, um, and they do have the knowledge and, and enhancement. Uh, we also have accidental medical expense with optional writers, and that will all be available in the in the portal once you log in uh, to ask to brokers. Uh, sorry, to highosford.com. You can get yourself appointed. And um, if you already have an account, you can also give them a call. I believe, Madeline, that Benevis is a GA for NetGen. So I would encourage you guys, um, Regina. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, one other cool thing that I like about this is, you know, I, I'd like to be transparent. We don't have adult dental in our plans. Obviously, pediatric dental, we, we do have in all of our plans. Again, check that out. Not all of them do. Um, but now you can actually offer this supplemental dental plan, which will be richer than what some of the other competition does, and you'll be able to make more money. So it's a, it's a win-win across the board. And as Maria said, Regina and ben Benevest is part of this program. And this is how to get appointed through, um, this is actually your login portal. And all you have to do is click on sell supplemental um, sell supplemental plan start here and then it'll take you if you already have um, a national uh, general you include your mpn if not you then you create your account and it takes you over to the nat gen website in terms of commissions i know that there's a, a nat gen in terms of commissions i we can connect with regina on that it really depends you know how you're structured in the system um but you know, here it says you can earn up to eighty-one hundred per year if you sell hundred plants. Um, but yeah, the commission piece we can address at a later date. But by the way, you know, in terms of commissions as a whole, <laughs> and for Oscar as well, we're not announcing that today. We may very well announce it in the next few days. So you know, be on the lookout for that. And we have our enhanced direct enrollment, um, but I think most of you guys on here use Health Sherpa, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me, I don't know if, Madeline, if you have anything additional to add to the enhanced uh, direct no. enrollment. Regina, remind us in terms of the enrollment platform, do they use uh, different we ones? Use, um, some agents use Benefit Align and others use Health Sherpa. They're Got pretty it. much similar. Yeah, so I mean, you you guys may not need this, but for those of you that are not using a, a specific platform now, we are just making it a whole lot easier to enroll folks in our portal. Um, it'll be, be at what we call enhanced direct enrollment, so you don't have to jump off to go to the exchange. You can do everything right there from the portal. But we'll continue on since this doesn't is not a huge need for this group. All right, for our now introducing the 2022 Platinum Network Spotlights. I know this was, I know this was um, this year we are going to be adding um, LabCorp for open enrollment 2022, which is very excited, exciting. Um, we also here have, um, now, so now not only do we have class but we also have um we also have we have quest but we also have lab corp so your members can go to either lab corp or quest with that ease of mind of not getting a bill because they're not going to a uh, contracted um lab so this is definitely in addition to um um and jackson now we also have lab corp and uh quest diagnostics um, so we're going to go ahead and continue with CVS. Um, they're our exclusive pharmacy vendor, um, opt-in with, which manages all of our mental health benefits. Liberty is used for our pediatric dental. And of course, David Vision takes care of pediatric vision. And then, um, uh, Quorum, which uses our, um, our, is our specialty pharmacy for infusion services. Um, and we're proud to offer an extensive formulary um, by 2022. Um, so let me go ahead and I don't know if you guys have any questions, but we are very excited to uh, bring in LabCorp over this year for OE 2022. And like we said before, we heard you guys last year um, in regards to enhanced formulary. We're definitely very thrilled this year. Um, we're proud to offer an extensive formulary. Um, 
and we're going to be um, we'll be treated by your tier one or tier one B drug. Um, we uh, by the our Oscar.